I believe that oh. is right. Yeah, that that's Lefty. So let's let's do this real quick. Lefty, what's going on, my man? Hey, man, I am here. I am here. No complaints whatsoever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just get into this lefty report, man. I'm feeling good today, guys. Go ahead up. and help me out. Hey, what y'all know about that? It's summertime, y'all. <laughs> it's June. It's Black Music Month. And this is the best summertime song ever. It's the 1985 hit. Sugar Free by him to me. Now, this is what I like to call Saturday morning cleanup music. But y'all know about that. Now, listeners, I apologize in advance for all the clapping and the snapping going on in the background. Because it's summertime, and I'm getting my groove off. I don't care what y'all say. Hey! Rock with me. Now, I know you're moving and grooving, and if you're not, then check your pulse because you have no soul. Jerk Drews, what you know about Saturday morning cleaning? Remember pouring a comet into the tub to clean out your little cousin's dirt ring? I do. You remember that? Yeah, I hate that And then your mama too. yells from the kitchen, how many grilled cheese you want? <laughs> and then you say two? <laughs> then check it out. Mr. Johnson is next door cutting the grass, and that fine bow-legged girl three houses down is washing her car with some Daisy Duke shorts on. Lord have mercy. Whew. Well, look, look. Enough, enough traveling down memory lane. I have a show to do. Let me compose myself. Mm. Welcome to the segment of the show we call The Lefty Report. This is where we talk big balls, bad calls, and my attempt to ease your sports withdrawal. I am your roving reporter, always on the phone. I'm no short order and able to cure your sports, Jones. I guess I'll run down my aliases, guys. The Chicken Hawker Blog Talk, the Dean of Ustream, the best bet on the internet, that handsome dude on YouTube. Swag so huge it can't fit in the hefty, I'm always right, so they call me Lefty. Now, I know you're enjoying the song, guys, but, you know, we got to move on. But don't worry. I got an old school vibe going on. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm looking pretty good. I like that tie there, Drew. Barry, you, you, let, let, let's, ch- let's change the song up. Show them what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all know about that really hut? That's telling. actually my favorite. Okay, now look. I tell you what, guys. You know, I'm always themed out. This week, I choose to talk about the following topics. She still got it. Blind Ambition, a free Spartan, and Big Man on campus. First quarter, here we go. Cheryl Swoops, one of the league's original players, is back after sitting out two years. Now, Swoops signed with Tulsa in March after being recruited by assistant coach Teresa Edwards to bring veteran leadership to a team that finished 6-28 in its first season after moving from Motown, Detroit. Grandmama said, I didn't choose the team. The team chose me, the 40-year-old swoop said. I really wasn't looking to come back to the NBA. I took, a, I took time and thought about it, and it was something that I really wanted to do. Well, hopefully, she has something left to offer. And if so, she looks like the ages wonder. But if not, and it ends badly, she sort of look out of place, sort of like that old cougar at the club with the worn-out weed, buying drinks for all the young dudes doing a stanky leg. Y'all know who that is. Grandmama. Fix your wig and sit your drunk ass down. <laughs> <laughs> Second quarter, here we go. You, you, you blind, baby. Yep. You, you blind, baby. I don't know, Chris, Chris Bosch. I don't know if it was your allergies or you were doing your best Nipsey Russell impression as a tin man on the Wiz. A teeny, a teeny. But Bosch confirmed what I always thought, y'all. He is the softest cooked on rice. Take a listen to the Tears of a Clown. Listen to him, listen to him. Chris Bosch, his teams were... He is struggling a bit with that uh, left eye here. Uh, had the game-winning basket, but uh, nonetheless, you're in a lot of pain, aren't you, with your eye? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us, tell us uh, what happened. Uh, well, I mean, I was having trouble with it before the game, and I got poked in it. So yeah, you know, it's a part of the game. It's um, it's not the first time it's happened, and uh, you know, you just have to you just have to play through things like that. We um, listen we to understand him. what's at stake. <laughs> I understand personally, and listen you know, him. the season only has so many more games, so. I just want to give give it all I have out there. Oh, you really? Can you say cotton candy? Not. Listen, Chris Bosh has. He he. I, oh my goodness! I, what in the Rick Welch hell is going on? I mean, really? You mean to tell me Ronnie Lott can play with a cloud thing? Willis Reed can hobble onto the court. Jordan played one of his best games ever with the flu. Ron Paul played with one arm, and your sissified ass is turned over a little poking eye. Come on, man. So the game, whether you hit with luck, because you didn't even know who passed you the ball. Wow. This is what Gangster Pat paid $105 million for. In the words of Joe King Noah, you are Hollywood's hell. 
But I think my boy Diddy said it best. You, sir, are the epitome of bitches. I don't know what to say, man. Now I'll stand crapper with the same time show stand. This is the show where sports and society collide. Here's my political point. I'm Stan Crapper. Former Senator Double Dick John, a.k.a. John Edwards, is attempting to negotiate a plea deal with the Justice Department on service jail time over allegations he broke campaign financing laws. In the hood, we simply say, you're delinquent on those eggs. Initially, Edwards had agreed to plead guilty to a felony. In court on Friday, Edwards pulled a wolf, there it is, and pled not guilty to the grand jury's indictment of the former Democratic Vice President nominee, and they brought him down on six felony counts. Johnny boy, you had better start doing push-ups and buy lots of soap on the road. In the words of DOS FX, you better chiggity check yourself before you riggity wreck yourself. I'm Stan Crapper. Back to you, Lefty. <laughs> Thanks, Stan. Third quarter. You hear it. Just listen. Just listen. That's the Ohio players. The wider of the NFL is free, y'all. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Relax. My favorite Michigan State Spartan and yours. Former NFL wide receiver Plexico Burris was released from the New York prison Monday after serving 20 months at the Oneida Correctional Facility in Rome, New York. Now, the former Giant accidentally shot himself in the leg with a 40 caliber semi-automatic pistol when he was carrying it in his waistband. And this was in uh, November of 2008. And he was just singing this, y'all. Yes, I, yes, I do. I want to be free. Was Plex sending a subliminal message when he was wearing his Philadelphia Phillies hat when he left jail? I mean, you know, Burris is from Virginia, and he would love to play with another top dog, wink, wink, <laughs> that happens to have to deal with the same issues he did. Hey, listen, I'm just saying this. Welcome home, Plex, and fly like an eagle, brother. Go ahead. Let's move on. Last time. Fourth quarter. Here we go. Yeah. Now, the beat you're hearing is one of his platinum singles. This is the big man on campus segment. His You Can't Stop the Rain is one of hip-hop coldest duets with the legendary Notorious B.I.G. Now, the man, one of the most down-to-earth guys you'll ever want to meet. He made basketball fun to watch. And just like the tattoo on his arm states, the world is mine. So much so that he named his successful record label and production company after that slogan. My man Shaq and the Twism family did it only like Shaq could do it. He did it big. Now the player, Orlando, Los Angeles, Miami, Phoenix, Cleveland, and Boston. No longer do they have the big kid, Superman, the big Caliente. The big sidekick, the big Shaktus, or the big Shamrock. However, Shaq will always be involved in the game. Now listen up, guys. Six teams, five houses, four rings, three favorite coaches, two major injuries, and it all came down to one thing, y'all. This is what it came down to. The devotion to his craft. (laughs) Drew, Jers, I know y'all smiling on this one. I know y'all are, man. Now, though mint condition comes to the co- uh, close, uh, uh, close uh, to one of the baddest bands, yeah, this is the baddest band ever. The Elements, y'all. Earth, Wind, and Fire. This song is the 1971 classic, Devotion. Hold on, just let just just hum a little bit with me. Come on, y'all, sing with me. <laughs> hey, not. y'all don't know nothing about that, but look, man, that's my time. I got to get out of here. I got a nice young lady coming over, so I got to go ahead and uh, put a little uh, relax on my taco meat, my chest hairs, and I got the pink champagne chilling in a nice little uh, bucket there. So I'll be listening to the show, and uh, I'll chime right in later on with what the hell were you thinking. But once again, my name is Lefty. I'm always right. How you like me now? Well, actually, I found a few things I need to check you on, Lefty, real quick before you run. Cheryl Spooks well, well, plays. She plays in the WNBA and not the NBA, brother, just so you know. Well, well she looked like a man. I couldn't tell the difference. Well, I, I didn't know because I, I thought about Juana Man in the movie, so I thought maybe that's what you was talking about. So I, I, Did you see the picture? Yeah, I did she see She looked the like she could be Miguel Nunez on the yeah, 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 side. Yeah, Are you that. my daddy? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Well, I'll let you go. I'm sure you'll chime in later, man. Good job as hey, always. Man. 
I appreciate y'all. Let me go ahead and, and get out here because this, 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 this relax is burning on my chest, man. I, 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 I got to go. Well, handle that, man. Wash it out like Malcolm X did <laughs> in the movie before he got arrested. But at any rate, that's the Lefty Report. That's my man doing what he does, man. So, hey, that's how it goes. That's the Lefty Report. That is featured each week to kind of give us a little bit of a change up because, again, we get serious every now and again, but we want to have a little fun too as well. So, 